Welcome to this Windows 8 channel and in Back to Basics episode today we're continuing with the privacy settings. Uh, the first video we did was on the general privacy settings in Windows 8.1. Today we're going to take a look at the location privacy settings and what they mean and how actually should you use it on your computer to stay as safe as possible. So the privacy settings, all you have to do is go into the search on the start screen or on the charms bar and type privacy settings and you will see privacy settings. So we looked at the general tab in the first video. So if you haven't seen that, you can actually search for the video on my channel. We'll go into the location now. Location privacy settings, what that means. There's a general on off switch. This is the master switch of your location settings for the privacy. That means that if you put this master switch at off, which is that switch at the top, no apps can use location. So it means that there's no more knowing where your computer is outside of the general location that Windows knows. So it means that it cannot, for example, if you use, you use a Facebook app and you put the general switch location at off, the Facebook app cannot ask Windows where you are. Um, if you notice, maybe you've, you use a, uh, a cell phone or you know um, some kind of an iPhone or maybe an Android phone and you post something on Facebook or maybe on Twitter, very often it's gonna say, Oh, this was posted from this location and that's because there's always a location tracking on pretty much all computers and uh, cell phones and what happens is that a lot of people are concerned about that you know our technology knowing where we are all the time is it safe um, you know it it does have great uses and it also is scary on what it can do the idea behind location is because for example if you make a search on Google for pizza well the first thing you'll want is not pizza from the other side of the world I don't want to have pizza I'm in, located in Montreal Canada I don't want to have pizza from France for example I want to have pizza from my own location so by using the location of your computer it can actually pin down and say, oh, you know, there's great pizza, only three corners, treats from where you are, or there's this place that everybody's talking about with pizza that's only about a mile from you. So it has this great thing where it can actually help you for, uh, you know, searching for stuff. Uh, another example where it's great is in the weather app by having location you don't have to actually tell it where you are it knows where you are so it can give you the weather and the forecast for your area so that's the good thing that's the positive of location uh, in the privacy settings and why it's better to let it on the bad thing is that a lot of apps use it and sometimes use it in a way that you're not really sure why it asks you for that. You know, I don't really understand why Facebook needs to post my location for my uh, posts because that implies that somebody in my friend list in the same area might be checking that out and saying, Oh, he's in that area. There's a good chance it might be at this coffee shop. Or maybe he's at home. And, you know, it gets a little complicated here because it means that we don't have a lot of privacy when that's on. So, my general way of using it, and what I would probably suggest as being the best way to use it, is to leave the master switch at on but go into the individual apps that you have on your computer and set it at on or off depending on what you use. For example, I don't use AccuWeather, so I'll keep it off. 
I don't want Facebook to know where I am, so I keep that at off. Uh, G Maps. Why I keep it on? Well, you know, it's like Google Maps. Um, I want Google Maps to know where I am because sometimes I'll ask it from where I am to another spot. How long will it take to be there? And so by having the location, at least it's helping me. Uh, Google search, I'll keep it on for the simple reason that I just explained. If I'm looking for a restaurant, for example. You know, I'm a tech guy. I'm always on the road. So what happens is, you know, maybe I have an hour and a half at noon and I want to have lunch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sometimes go on Google search and look for restaurants. And it can pinpoint the restaurants around me because the location is set that on. Health and fitness. Why should health and fitness have this switch at on? I'm not really sure. Another thing, maps. I don't use maps on Windows, so I've set it at off. You know, basically, think of the apps as I don't really uh, use this app. I'm going to set it at off. Uh, the news app, I put off, but technically I should put it on. Why? Because the news, it's fun to have news of what's happening in your own city, for example. So by putting the news privacy settings at on, you'll know where you are, what's the news. If you put it at off as it was now, you'll have more general news of pretty much anything. Star chart. This is one that I have. You know, first of all, remember that what I have here with apps is not the same as what you have with your apps. So you won't have, you, you might have less apps than me or more than me or different apps that I don't have. So, you know, you have to use your common sense in knowing what apps might be good. For example, here Star Chart is a uh, basically an app that shows me the sky. I keep the location on because I want it to show me the sky visible from my city where I live. Weather network, I keep it on because I want to know the weather from where I am, not the weather from somewhere else. Travel off because I'm not using this app. Tune in radio on because I want to have my local FM and AM stations on that list. But you know, it's not necessary. You can just search for them, for example. Twitter off, why should I tell everyone in Twitter where I am? Urban Spoon and the weather app from Microsoft, which I don't use, so I can keep that at off. So, you know, it's an app per app. Just go through the app list, and by using your common sense, think of why is it necessary for this app to know where I am or not. Uh, you know, a lot of these apps actually use that setting to display ads that are more of your area. For example, I would Imagine that the health and fitness, if I put this at on, might actually be using my location to tell me, oh, you know, there's a, there's a fitness center only a mile from you, or there's this health spa that's only two and a half miles from you. So, you know, I would think that it might actually use this to give me information about that. It might actually even give me information about uh, maybe healthy food, where I can buy it around me, and so on. So... You know, it depends on the apps that you use and what you actually want from these apps. What you can also do is just turn it on, go to the app, check what it does. Did it change something? Do you notice that maybe things are more interesting or not when it's on or off? And, you know, you can play with the settings and always go back to the privacy settings to change that. So that's the location settings, the privacy settings for location. Very important to you know, keep it um, to the minimum. Um, I actually even add times when I would go to, for example, a coffee shop, use Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi, and actually turn off the general switch to make sure that nothing is uh, being tracked from where I am. Uh, another great thing about the general switch is that if you turn this general switch at off, your individual app settings will be kept. So it means that when you turn it back on, all the ones, all the apps that were off are going to stay off, and all the apps that were on are going to be on. So that's also an interesting feature of that um, master switch, if you want. 
So hope this helps in understanding a little more what's the location privacy settings and what it means. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any uh, questions, if you have any videos or maybe uh, something you'd like us to um, talk about or help you understand in Windows 8 or on computers in general, uh, let us know. We'll try to post that video online and help you and you'll be helping others. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.